Hey buddy, it's me, Eric. I'm back. And as you guys can tell, it's another death profile. Um, you guys, we oh, knocked over my stand a bit. I actually got my stand to be working. Last time I was using some weird contraption. Uh, but hey, I'm using my stand. Uh, so, uh, as you guys can tell, I am doing my Elemental Hero deck profile update. This is updated from, uh, because I realized, hey, in the past, I only made one deck profile per my deck, like, in 2017, and never did any updates for them. My, oh, honeybee, you're in the way. Get your butt out of the camera. Um, but I never, uh, updated, uh, because I updated them off screen, but never actually made a video about them. And my heroes is one of the big ones that have changed in the past, because in the past my hero deck was pretty inconsistent, uh, being all over the place. Honey, be, stop that. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the deck profile. Now, my deck still needs plenty of work. There are still, there are new hero cards that came out since the last time I updated this deck, which was... Uh, I want to say last time I played this deck was last year. <laughs> so, it's been a while since I even touched this deck. Um, but we're going to go ahead and get started with the deck file. First things first, we're going to go with the monsters first. Going in an uh, attribute order that I chose arbitrarily. So, as you can tell, right off the bat, three elements of hero... Three Elements Hero, Solid Soldier, one of the newest heroes that came out a couple years back. I don't remember what year he came out in. But Solid Soldier is a solid monster, allowing uh, you to get more... Once you normally summon him, bring him back a hero, uh, summon out an extra hand from your hand. And if you and if you use him as material for one of your uh, mass change fusions for mass heroes or an actual fusion with polymerization while he was on the field you can bring back a hero just any hero from the graveyard uh you can only use one per turn what i really like about this new hero is that he not only works just for Elemental heroes but works for every hero uh for every hero deck so destiny heroes can make use of this uh evil heroes can make use of this if they wanted to and um vision heroes since i think vision heroes can now be a viable deck to splash in with a bunch of other heroes. Um, he just works really well with them. Uh, a solid soldier is a solid... It's a, it's a solid monster. Now what I really want to get is a hero that... To replace some of my water heroes I have. Since a new one came out, I think it's got a liquid soldier. Um, I don't have him. I'm not sure how well to get him. Other than buying him online for high prices, but... Right now, my water side of my heroes are quite lacking. That being Ocean, <laughs> which is a complete joke to really be in here. I honestly should just switch him out for another, for another Bubble Man. But a level 4 water hero. Once per turn, during my standby phase, if he's even going to last, I can target a hero I control in the graveyard and return it for a recursion. And Bubble Man is the better one out of the two. Can special summon himself if he's the only card I have in my hand. And if I have no cards at all, uh, like if I top to if I top deck him, uh, where I, ha where I have like nothing, I get to draw two cards. Not useful. <laughs> that last part's never gonna go off. But hey, you, it's a free special summon onto the field. Look at them. Now for my wind heroes, the only ones I have is Avion. Vanilla, the only reason I have him in here is because he's a wind hero and not a hero. Otherwise, I'll have very little heroes in my deck because honestly, I don't have too many monsters. And he's like, and Elemental Hero Stratos, the greatest hero to ever live. Uh, this is still his old. I'm using an old card for Stratos. I don't have one of the newer cards, so it doesn't have its update effect. But his update effect is this all this right here, once per turn. Instead of being like forever, so I do know. Yes, this is a one per turn. I can, I can, I can read the Nevada. But yeah, status from the greatest heroes. Well, honestly, a lot of my attributes need work because my light heroes are not very good either. I need me some honest neoses. I need, a, <laughs> I need to get my hands on some honest neos. So, so then I can replace Sparkman, who's just as a feeder, 
as well as Neo's ace. I honestly don't know why I wouldn't DF him. <laughs> I, I think it's just because I have nothing else. And he's a 19k beater. I think that's the that's the only reason I'm in here. Uh, onto my dark heroes. The only dark heroes I run are Shadow uh, Material Shadow Mist. When she turns to the graveyard, by any means necessary, I get to search for a hero monster. And if I special summon her, I get to add a, a change quick play spell. But I can only activate one of one of those effects once per turn. So I have to pick and choose. I'm a, it's Shadow Mist, one of the best elemental heroes to ever be added for main heroes and mass heroes. And finally, on to my fire heroes. Um, meet a material blaze man who came out many years ago and were, and basically helped out fusion heroes quite a bit by being a, a good way to search polymerization as well as being able to switch his attribute by sending monsters to the graveyard. Of course, he can only activate one of those uh, once per turn since all, both of them are hard once per turn. So I have to summon him, uh, hope that he lives. Or I summon him, don't use his first effect, and instead use his second effect, which allows him to dump uh, heroes into the graveyard to basically become them. It's like a different way to use Prisma. It's a Prisma takes on the name, he takes on the attribute and attack. I guess Honeybee's just gonna be chilling right there. Uh, but Blaze Man, I love Blaze. Hey, why do you attack my hand? Onto my final, onto my final two flaming heroes, which is Heat and Vicinatrix. The only hero for the attribute and the fact that they're a hero. And that's all my main deck heroes. And this deck is only monsters and spells. So we're going to go straight into the spells right here. Now you guys might be wondering what, what kind of hero deck is this? This is a weird hero deck. Fusions. Fusions is the main in the, is the name of the game. I do run some mass heroes because mass heroes are good. But I honestly, <laughs> even though I love, even though I like mass heroes, I'm not in love with them. Because the fusion monsters, when they should not be fusion monsters, it's not fusing. Um, but I love fusion monsters, so that's why I have. What, what? Here they are. Three polymerizations. So then, for all my fusion needs, you probably don't want to look at heat all the time. Let's look at a good hero, a solid hero, a solid soldier. Honestly, one of my newest favorite heroes. Uh, to go with those polymerizations, I have three Miracle Fusions, uh, which is specifically for heroes. Some other stuff that I do have is I have two Mass Change and two Mass Charge, so I have four uses of my Mass Charge. Mass Change allows me to summon a hero. Uh, uh, summon to a Mass Hero uh, by switching out any hero. It doesn't need to be a material, so that's why Mass Change is better than Mass Change 2, since I'm in... Since I think Mass Change the second needs one of these heroes, uh, but this one can just be any hero, and you just make it on uh, Mass Change. Mass Charge works a lot like Fusion Recovery. I don't have Fusion Recovery in this deck. Fusion Recovery just takes a polymerization and a and a monster that you specifically use for uh, Fusion Summon. This one just takes a any hero and a quick and a change quickly spell from a graveyard and into my hand. It's a, uh, since I only have the 2 and 2, I do want to bring out my Mask Heroes sometimes, since, you know, Mask Heroes are pretty good. And honestly, are pretty strong as well. So, there's a reason I want to have them. So that's why I do have those Mask Charge. To any hero deck needs a hero lives, pay half my life points, doesn't matter. Uh, as long as I beat my opponent before they beat me, um, I can use these all I want. Once per turn, it just special summon heroes straight out of the deck if I have no monsters. Now, I only have two emergency calls because I don't know what happened to my third one. I cannot find my third one for the life of me. Uh, so that's why I only have two. Uh, this deck has so many ways for searching heroes that I honestly don't need too many heroes. I mean, honestly, if I wanted to, I can probably chunk out like all of these areas and Sparkmans and Avians and Oceans and Heats and Basindrix. But I'm keeping them in there because I want them to be in there. That's optimal. But hey. Oh, excuse me. And then, to go along with the fact that I'm fusion summoning, I'm running Legacy of a Hero. This is a, this is a recovery card. Uh, I honestly, I can probably bump this down to one. I do not use this card too often. Uh, all I do is return 
two fusion monsters in my graveyard to my extra deck that list hero as a material, and then I draw three cards. Uh, this does not work on mask heroes because mask heroes do not have material. They just have cut, they just have effects. Uh, so this only works with my fusion summonable heroes. And it has a list that there are heroes as well. It can, on this, this can work in any hero deck, but of course it's mainly going to be for Emerson heroes since they're the ones who mainly fusion summon. And my last of the fusion cards is Super Farmization. A uh, non-chainable uh, fusion that I can use, like if I don't like my opponent's monster, absolutely, I'll just take it and use it for my own. And lastly, I have just generic support cards, a Monster Reborn, a Twin Twister, a Supply Squad, and the Reinforcement in the Army. Uh, mainly because I really have nothing else I will want to play in this deck. But yeah, that's the main deck. My, this main deck is a lot more consistent, not as consistent as I want it to be. Because I do have versions of the deck that I have online. Uh, on like YGO Pro, which I do not have in real life because money. Uh, but onto my extra deck, <laughs> which is the main focus of the of this deck. The main reason I haven't upgraded it in a while because last time I upgraded it was when this guy came out in the U.S. and I finally had access to to Link Monsters. But you know I needed Link Monsters in the past, but now since Master of Rule Five is a thing, I don't need to worry about too much about my Link Monsters. I can just fusion all I want. So. Let's go ahead and get started with these linked monsters I have. I have a link 3 extra hero, Dread Decimator, works for any hero. So, 2 plus hero monsters. This card, as well as any hero, is a point to gain 100 attack for every hero with a different name in the graveyard. Uh, this is basically a better Escarado, uh, which is an old fusion card, which is an old fusion hero who only gain 100 attack for every different named element of hero. Uh, but this guy distributes the attack to everyone he points to as well as himself. And also, this guy gets piercing damage. 2500, so I really like picking him out a lot. He He's become a lot better than I first looked at him. Uh, number 2, I wish I had more of this guy because he is awesome. Extra hero, Wonder Driver. He is a great support for any fusion based hero or any, ch or any mask uh, change hero because... If a hero monster is summoned to a uh, zone that, hit, that he points to, most likely going to be this one. Uh, you can set a polymerization, a fusion spell, or a change quick play spell from my graveyard onto the fields. And then, you know, I can use my polymerizations again. I can use my miracle fusions again. And I can use my mass changes again. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, my throat's pretty dry. But yeah, this guy is pretty good. Uh, and if he's destroyed and set to the graveyard, I then... Um, hold up. Destroy by battle and set the graveyard. Or if I was destroyed by card effect, I get to special summon a hero from my hand. That doesn't happen too often, but you know, it's bound to happen. I don't make use of it mainly because I haven't actually dueled with my hero deck in a while. So yeah, those are my only link monsters. In the past, I would have had way more of these guys. Obviously, because you know, I need those links. But I'm actually fine with just having one of each. I might eventually bump this guy up one more just so I have another use of him. But I'll see. Now on to my Mask Heroes. Mask Heroes. First is Mask Hero Divide Win. Uh, honestly, <laughs> a very great card. Can't be destroyed by battle. And anytime he destroys a monster, uh, I get to draw a card. Uh, the good thing is, another thing about this guy is that only one monster on each, uh, can battle during each battle phase. So this is a really a good way to stall out your opponent uh, by, you know, placing this guy in defense mode if they don't have any monster destruction to deal with this guy. Uh, Honeybee's running around like a crazy person over there. One of my personal favorite mask heroes, Diane. If this person, if this hero destroys a monster by battle, it says the graveyard, I can, get to, I can special summon level 4 or level hero from my deck. Doesn't happen too often, but you know, I usually fusion off my solid soldier and then actually uh, mass change him because I have more ways to actually fuse than mass change. Uh, Koga, a very strong light hero, can banish heroes in my graveyard for so he can lower mon uh, opponents' attacks. Mass hero Anki works a lot like. 
dying in, except when he destroys a, pet, a monster by battle, I can then add a change quick play spell from my deck to my hand, which is very nice. Um, and also you can attack directly if you wanted to by lowering his attack. Dark Log. Used to run this guy a lot more, don't run him as much anymore, maybe because I don't like using him too much because he feels very degenerated. But he is awesome and he is strong. So that's why I still want to use him. So those are my... Those are my mass heroes and my link monsters. Time to actually get into my fusion heroes. Main beat stick is element to hero core. He gets strong. Um, that's mainly his main gimmick. <laughs> really. Uh, he takes three element to hero monsters, so I, he's pretty easy to make. And if he's a sword, I get to bring back one of my level 8 heroes, which is awesome. Another hero I have is a vision, one of the first vision heroes to come out. Vision Hero Adoration. Uh, he, he's just a great way that I can use to uh, lower my opponent's uh, attacks so then I can really deal with them easily. And you know, he's super easy to make, just any two heroes. Now on to the main show. My Omni Heroes. Let's start with Dark and Light. Shining and Escalado. Sh uh, Escalado is the card that I mentioned earlier. He takes an element to heal on any dark monster. Uh, and he gains 100 attack for every for each element to heal in my graveyard. Only he gets it and it's only for element to heroes. It doesn't count any of my mask heroes or my vision heroes. It has to be element to heroes. Uh, not the strongest, but, he's per but he is my personal favorite hero. And I love using him a lot just because he looks so awesome. Uh, probably, you know, my ace. Or, well, not my ace, but my signature monster in this deck. Since I love playing him out so much. His counterpart is a Matera the Shining. A human monster, any light monster. Uh, he gains 300 attack for each of my banished elemental heroes. It has to be specifically on the two heroes, too. Which is why I run so many Miracle Fusions. Why I have Koga who can banish heroes because then it just makes him stronger. And if he's sent from the field to the graveyard in any way, I get to return two Banished Armament Heroes from my Banished Zone to my hand. So, can bring some back. That's, that's the Light Dark Duo right there. Now on to the Earth Wind Duo. So we have Great Tornado and Armament Hero Gaia. We'll start off with Gaia since he's the weakest of the two. I don't bring him up too often, but he's still pretty good. So Armament Hero Gaia. An Amateur Hero and any Earth Monster. Uh, once he's Fusion Summon, I get to select a mon I get to target a monster on the field and half its attack. And then he and then Gaia gains even more uh, the same attack that I halved. Right? Yeah, so half a monster attacking gains more. Basically, uh, <laughs> basically how Dark Rebellion works now, except that's a Fusion Summon. Not as strong since um, since I, it's only on wind summon. So I don't bring him out too often. I may even bring him out if I really want to get over something. But I also have Element Hero Great Tornado for that. He's any Element Hero and any wind monster. Once he summon, I have all the attack and defense of all my face up monsters my opponent controls. Which basically is just a stronger version of Gaia since Gaia only targets one. And it, it's only specifically attack. Great Tornado uh, has attack and defense from all of them. It's just like Gaia gets more strength. Well, Great Tornado just starts off already strong. So that's the Wind Earth duo. I don't use them as much as I use the other two. But the one with the duo I use the most often. And the reason why I've been waiting to pop this X Power file the Fire and Water duo. I've been trying to get my hands on the Appaloot Zero for so long, which is another reason why I've been playing this off. Let's start off with Nova Master since he's the simpler of the two. He's not the best, honestly. 2600 attack, one, another one of my personal favorite heroes. Uh, any hero and any fire and any fire monster, but his special effect is that he even destroys a hero and draw a card. And that's it! <laughs> I love using him a lot, but he only draws me a card. Uh, honestly, Koga is way better because Koga also draws me a card, but he has other effects. But Koga is, you know, I need to use my Avion on my Stratos and have a quick play change. Nova Master is way easier than playing out. So with that, uh, then I was storage, so I had to quickly do some stuff. But that's enough for Nova Master. On to Absolute Zero, which is 
honestly one of the best Omni heroes I've ever made. Uh, gains 500 attack for each one of monster the field. All he takes is any hero, unlike all the other ones in the animated hero. He can take any hero and a one monster. And if uh, if he leaves the field, destroy all monsters my opponent controls. And I've been waiting to get that for so long now. But yeah, that is my fusion hero deck that I have. Could it be better? Obviously, yes. Uh, but that takes money. <laughs> money, which I don't have right now. Because I definitely want to upgrade this deck. Because heroes are one of my favorite archetypes of all time. Um, but yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'm not sure what my next video is going to be. But I'll be trying to come out with this video soon. Or at least I'll try to make the next video soon. But yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.